Uh, on this note, I, I would like to uh, invite Jay to the stage. I won't take long. Um, I think, well, for me, I enjoyed listening to all the talks. I definitely want to thank um, Borja for uh, um, being uh, chairing the sessions and all the organizers, uh, Antonio, uh, Toto Sensei, Yadamoto Sensei, and um, and I forgot someone. No, I uh, Sato Sensei. Yes, sorry. So I think if I take from this and look at all the um, all the talks, I think Antonio uh, definitely made it clear that he wants to make sure our classical methods uh, make quantum better. If I um, and then Ismail, I hope you saw from Ismail's talk that. We're thinking parallelization and class, uh, for quantum and how all this comes together is very important. From Yunokai's talk, what I took away from it is um, all these ideas from condensed matter and, and how you add non-unitary operations and things like this are definitely going to offer us a, a new way of looking at bringing uh, quantum and classical together for making uh, basically effectively non-unitary uh, non circuits. Um, from 2J's uh, talk, I think as we go forward, uh, kernels, workflows, primitives, all these things, I think as we do more and more talking between computer science and uh, physics, we're going to see a lot of similarities. And I think there's a lot a lot to do here uh, to make, make it easier and, and actually develop the workflows for classical plus quantum. Um, from uh, Tudo Sensei's talk, I think uh, algorithms are definitely going to make the most improvement. I, I agree completely. And I think um, I, I like the, 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 the quote, um, if controlled operations are not the best for tensor methods, maybe there's a better way to understand algorithms. I think that was a very nice uh, bit of insight. And then lastly and finally, from Yadamoto uh, Sensei's talk, I think um, how we enhance quantum machine learning, uh, bringing uh, classical and, and neural networks. I didn't quite follow everything, and I'll follow up afterwards. But uh, definitely, the combination of these two, um, having improvements on over quantum alone, I definitely took as uh, interesting. So I think from everyone's talk, and I think you all probably took different things from everyone's talk, but I think a uh, high level is how we bring classical and quantum together to get more out of uh, more out of quantum computing is definitely going to define the next few years. So on that, I want to close. I want to thank you all for listening. I very much enjoyed my trip to Japan, and I'm looking forward to come back. And I think we can do a lot together as we work out different ways to collaborate and bring quantum computing and classical computing together. Thank you so much for your time.